a very warm welcome to all of you in today's session we shall see types of brands brands can be classified under the following categories according to ownership market area number of products and use according to ownership it is classified into two types manufacturer brands and middleman's brand manufacturer brands are actually created by the manufacturers or producers and bear their chosen brand name on the product the producer is responsible for marketing the brand as well as he the brand is owned by the producer examples include sony canon samsung etc where these companies use their name on all the products that has been sold by them or manufactured by them middleman's brand manufacturer does not use any brand for his products here it is actually the middleman who buy the product from the manufacturer and put his own label on the brand which he sells in it includes walmart and big bazaar in india the second classification is according to the market area there are actually five different types the first is local brand second is provincial third is regional fourth is national and fifth is international what is a local brand when a brand is used only for the local market we call it as a local brand a typical example is olavar bhumi where it caters to the need of local chennai dairy needs the company also provides milk ghee and honey when you talk about the provincial brand provincial brand is otherwise called as state owned brand different brands are used in different states for the same product example is the gas agency in the respective states regional brand manufacturer uses his brand name only in a particular region the region may be divided in terms of the geographical regions like east west north and south the examples here which i have given in the slide is cholayal wherein cholayal is concentrating on karnataka and the major products of cholayal which are familiar in karnataka and tamil nadu is the medimix brand and cuticura and vaabahari is again a tea brand which is quite familiar in um uh, the gujarat wherein they have exclusive tea lounges which offers more than 200 varieties of tea in addition to that they also export tea products to more than 40 countries their uh, flavors is so good that people still remember the brand and they wanted to taste the brand they go to the exclusive lounges to taste the brand there national brand manufacturer uses his products brand for selling his uh, product throughout the country it includes the homogeneous indian brands namely godrej airtel etc when you talk about international brand the same brand is used used for selling the product in all the countries uses the same brand name it includes mobile phones like apple samsung and you have plenty of other businesses and brands which are seen across countries the third type is according to the number of products we have the first one which is the family brand the other name for family brand is the umbrella brand wherein manufacturer uses a single brand for all his products in all market segments it is known as a family brand examples include amul when you see amul amul has a plenty of product line which includes milk ghee butter ice creams it uses the same amul name in all its product varieties whereas when you talk about product line brand businesses or industrial houses use different brand names for their different product lines for example pepsico has various product lines such as pepsi lays tropicana and quaker roads the third variety which comes under number of products is the individual brands so when individual product is marketed by different brand names for the product produced by the same manufacturer the example which i have shared in my slide is hindustan unilever limited wherein they have a number of product lines and in each of the product line they have separate 
brand names. Examples in case of uh, toiletries, you have Dove, Lux, Hamam, Rexona, Lifebuoy, and so on. The last type being the use. Based on this, we have two classification. The first one is the fighting brand, and the second one is the competing brand. Now, what is a fighting brand? When there is a tough competition in the market and the producer wanted to introduce a new product which has different characteristics from that of competitor's brand and gives an impression such as such difference is called as a fighting brand. Here I have given the example of Hindustan Unilever Limited wherein Hindustan Unilever Limited is trying to concentrate on the different types of consumer segments. The three levels as you could see here is the strivers, uh, you have the aspirers as well as the highest level is the affluence. So for the first level products like clinic plus and wheel is offered whereas when you take the aspirants, aspiring consumers they buy products like rin and when it comes to shampoo it's sunsilk whereas when you talk about the affluent or the premium segments they go in for dow, tresemme products and uh, the washing powder that they use is Surf Excel. Now you could see here that HUL is trying to concentrate on all the segments. If they do not concentrate on these segments, it would be the competitor wherein they try to attract these segments and they do their business. Hence it becomes mandatory for a company which is doing very successful to concentrate on all the segments. The last one being the competitive brand. When the brand introduced in the market is almost similar to those of competitors, such brand is known as a competitive brand. So taking the example of sportswear like Nike, Adidas, Puma, you could see a very few differences which exist among the brand. But again, these are trying to offer or uh, products which are uh, similar in the performance as well as in their appearance. But still, people love their respective brands and its performance. With this note, I complete the types of brands. See you in my next slide on branding strategies.